We are on day six of the juice fast. Uh, we don't have much produce in the house. We're going to Costco today. It's about nine o'clock, so I don't drink anything for the next two hours. Although it takes us an hour to get to Costco since we moved. Um, we are pretty far away from Costco. So I'm going to be drinking some of that Trader Joe's juice that I bought in a bottle already pressed. Um, also, I wanted to update you on our juicer. I think we finally picked out the juicer we wanted. It's an Omega standing juicer with a wide mouth. I actually got really hasty and ordered um, a, different, a different Omega standing juicer this morning with the more narrow mouth. I ordered this one. but I'm going to try to return that one with the more narrow mouth for the one with the wider mouth because then I can, I don't have to cut my fruit as small. So I'm crossing my fingers that they can cancel my order. It's also, um, I've been trying to like kind of avoid the uh, talk about elimination and bowel movements because it's kind of like gross, but I shouldn't be embarrassed about that. It's something we all do, it's something we all should be doing. And honestly, since I've been on this juicing feast, I've only had two bowel movements, which is kind of weird. Um, I, would, I was thinking based on other people's experiences, I'd be going like every day and people talk about having like explosive diarrhea and I haven't had any of that. So either I'm super backed up or I'm already kind of cleaned out. I don't know, it's one of the two. I was under the impression I was super backed up, but my husband's pretty convinced that it's the opposite. Maybe I'm just not going as much because I'm not eating hardly anything. I'm mostly just drinking juices. So I'm hoping that's the case. I went into this juicing feast pretty healthy. Um, you know, I didn't eat a lot of junk food. I hardly ate any junk food. Um, I didn't eat hardly any processed foods. I was eating mostly fruits and vegetables. And um, before that, when I was paleo, I was eating like very small amounts of like free range, not free range, pasture raised organic meats and fruits and vegetables and nuts. And I was pretty healthy going into this. I wasn't sick going into it. Um, so I'm hoping that I am not so backed up that my body, like I've heard you can have 15 meals backed up in your system. And when you eat one meal, it pushes a old meal out. So that's kind of where I was thinking I was at, but my husband kind of, shined a light this morning because I was worrying about it like why am I not going to the bathroom and you know he was just saying it's probably because there's not much in there to to eliminate but I don't know I've heard all these other stories about all this like mu mucus plaque and all these like long black stringy things coming out so maybe that'll be like later down the road once like my gut starts getting really deep cleaned I don't know we'll see but as of right now it's been a lot of nothing, really. Lots of peeing, but <laughs> that's pretty much it. Okay, sorry, we had to have that talk. I know it's super important on a juice fast. That's one of the main reasons we do it. So I definitely had to address my experience with that. Okay, we just got to Costco, so we'll be venturing in there. Before we do, I'm gonna have my first juice of the day. So since we were out of produce, I'm drinking this. It's 32 ounces, four cups. I'm gonna try to finish this while we're in Costco and um, after if I don't finish it. This is more of a vegetable juice. I've been drinking the fruit juices, so this is uh, cucumbers. You can see them all here. All the different juices that are in this juice. Uh, so not as good as my juices that I've been making, but it's better than nothing. We didn't have much left at home. One of our finds at Costco today was this um, organic pineapple, cold pressed, straight pineapple juice. So they come in packs of two, so I bought two packs of two, so I have four of them. And they're about four cups each, so that'll be good on the go.
quarter, a quarter of the watermelon. Look at this. We have a half and a quarter left. Okay, so this is from half of a watermelon. Can't even fit it in the picture. Ooh, half a watermelon, guys. And then there's still all this left. I found that this is the easiest way to store it in the fridge. Just stick a plate on top and slide it in the fridge. It's three o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and drink my four cups of watermelon juice that I just made. And then I'm gonna bring um, what's left of the pitcher down to the dock for the kids and for whoever else wants to try it. We have um, Eric's mom and stepdad over. They call them Wyna and Grampy. So Wyna and Grampy are here. So they might wanna try some watermelon juice as well. And then I also put four cups in the fridge for me to have later. So I filled two of these and then um, as well. Yum, it's good watermelon juice. Okay, so they're working on putting our stairs in, some new stairs. You can hear the saw in the background, but we're gonna walk down to the little lake beach instead. Okay, it's five o'clock. We're back from the lake. I'm about to drink my next watermelon juice from the batch I made this morning. And then we'll have dinner in an hour or two. Barbies toes. Yeah, the end of the juice and dives now we'll eat out tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. cold, so it's really good. Oh, and yeah, yeah, it's been hard. We went to Costco and got lots of snacks, yummy stuff for all of them, and <gasps> it's gonna be hard for me to keep this thing going, but I'm almost through my day Ready six. Guys. I'm almost through day six, so hopefully I make it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go as long as I can. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Beep. Okay, it's almost seven o'clock. We are sitting down for dinner. They're having turkey meatballs, a pear, and some almond flour crackers for dinner. I'll show you my dinner. And my husband's dinner, it's a veggie burger, mushroom sandwich with avocado, and garlic paprika toast. And some almond crackers, almond flour crackers from Costco. I'm heating up my mushroom broth from yesterday. I'm gonna have it with avocado in it, and some chopped up fresh basil.